Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to keep your butt on the bench. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to keep your butt on the bench, and here's how we do that. There is a foundational error in how most people use their legs on the bench press. They tend to drive their hips up vertically instead of horizontally back on the bench press. And that's what we wanna do. So rather than driving your hips up when the weight gets heavy, we're gonna focus on driving the hips back horizontally. I'm gonna use Michael Wolf here to show how to do that both correctly and incorrectly. Okay, here we go. Wolf, I'm gonna have you lay on the bench. And I wanna do this wrong the first time, right? Which is a little bit difficult. So go ahead and take your grip on the bench press and I'm gonna put my hand over your chest. There's two ways. One of the things I think that people are trying to do when they lift their hips up vertically is they're actually trying to lift the arch of the bench press, right? They're trying to lift the arch. So I'm gonna hold my hand about an inch or so above his chest, and then Wolf, as you take the bar out of the rack, I'm gonna have you bring it down to your chest and lift your hips off, and you can see he lifts his chest up and touches my hand and then drives, right? But, so that lifts the chest or lifts the arch, but I'm not really effectively using the actual leg drive here. Go ahead and rack it. We've got a great video on leg drive. You can check it out right up here. Now, instead, how might I be able to more efficiently use my leg drive to keep my hips on the bench and make the arch get higher? Well, instead, if I focus on using my legs to drive my hips horizontally down the bench, then what's gonna happen is my shoulders and my hips will get closer together, and as they get closer together, the arch is gonna come back up. So you're gonna do the same thing, but this time instead of thinking about driving your hips up, you're gonna drive your hips back. I'm still gonna hold my hand above your chest and you'll see the arch lift up. Let's do it. Far out, good. Bring on nice and slow. And then big leg drive and you can see the arch still lifts up, but now he didn't lift his hips, drive back up. Good, let's do like three reps. Same thing. Now he's got all this tension in his quads and he's actively driving his body horizontally back down the bench, which then drives his rear delts and his traps and his back of his shoulders into the bench, which is what I want. Nice job, rack it. Let's take the weight up a little bit and see it work with a little heavier weights. All right, let's see this with 225. We get a little heavier, set the arch, take the bar out with authority, up the rack, out. See nice big arch and the legs driving the body up the bench rather than driving the butt up vertically off of the bench. Nice job. Good, let's put a little more weight on. 275, same thing. So nice and tight on the bench. See his feet are directly underneath his knees. Take the bar out with authority. Out, this big arch. Leg drive up, that looks great. Nice big arch, you can see how stable he is on the bench press. Great job. Good, perfect. So next time you're struggling with your hips coming off the bench, think about driving your hips horizontally this way instead of vertically this way. For more great tips on bench press and get strong AF, click the link right up here.